Hello YouTubes, after last week's disastrous attempt to repair a Walters train line locomotive, I'm going to play it safe this week. I'm going to attempt to tune up this old Atherne blue box. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So after consulting my big book of awesome, thanks Greg, I believe this to be a General Electric U33C, I think, but then what do I know? So should be quite simple, taking the shell off, dropping the trucks down because it's easy in an Atherton blue box, clean everything, lube it, get it back together, run perfect. I do expect it to be a wee bit noisy like old Atherton blue boxes, but that's okay, we know where we stand, let's get stuck in. I will of course be wearing my gloves for this operation, as I have no idea what disease infested drug den this might have come from. No offence to the previous owner, but hey, can't be too careful. Right. Ooh, okay, so it's the it's the shell with the little pin things. It still should be easy to pop off. Although not as easy as normal. Oh, stop popping back in. This is supposed to be easy this week. Almost there. There we go. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Little power bar's a funny shape. I haven't seen that before. Everything else looks like it's there. It's, they're so simple. I really like them. A wee bit of rust on there, but it was still running fine. I'm not sure if that bend is supposed to be like that. I don't think so. Anyway, let's take it off. Bulb's just flopping about. You know what, I would love to replace everything with LEDs, but I just want a win this week. Which means, oh, I haven't seen that before. And that's actually a wee bit close to the truck there. I think I'll bend that up a bit. Oh god, that's too much. Down a bit. Just want it kind of straight. And that wee screw. I haven't seen that wee screw before. Let's tighten that up. Or, t or remove it. I could remove it to make life easier to get that off. Let's do that. Don't even know if it's supposed to be there. Yeah, let's remove that. Very short screw. Remove this bar. And then we can remove the clips front and back. So it's the kind of weird two-piece clips in this that must be quite an old one, eh? Your screwdriver underneath. Keep your finger over the top so we don't have hanging across the room. One off. Truck down. Oh, so much easier than the last one I did. And by the last one, I mean the, um, you know, that's the front, by the way. So let's keep that that way. Hey, sorry, I'm getting all mixed up with what I'm talking about. So much easier than the Walters train line. Oh, yeah, bad taste in my mouth just saying those words. The rear one off. And it's little drive shaft. Put them away somewhere safe. Drop them down. Okay, let's have a look at this. Everything looks fairly good. In fact, the combinator is really shiny. I was not expecting that. Quite a lot of play in that all the same. But hey, it's quite old, it's had a lot of use. Let's just give that commutator just a little clean, just to make sure. Although it does look spotless, but there's no harm in giving it a bit of a more of a clean, right? Still, still picked up some gunge. Yep, not too bad at all. And we'll just clean that little power bar along the top. There's a little bit of play in there, but nothing nothing to be alarmed about. Let us just put a little drip of oil in there. You see that little thrust washer there? Don't let this drip like mad. 
Okay, a bit of drip there. Let's get a wee drip in there. Now, I would like a little drip, you see down there, just beyond the commutator. Don't want it on the commutator, but I do want it in, in there. Yep, that'll do it. Plenty. I'll put a wee, a wee dribble in there as well. And let us just clean up the excess. As I say, I don't want it near the commutator, if at all possible. And I can see from here that the the bushes look, or the brushes, sorry, they look just fine. So that is that part done. I'm just checking in here that there's nothing building up on these because if you know Athern Blue Boxes, you know that the one side of the rail relies on the connection from the trucks going up to that point there. A wee bit dirty. Okay, this time it's done. Right, let's clean some trucks. So the trucks do have a bit of rust build up there. Let's attack it with this steel wire brush pen. Because again, this this hole here is where it connects to that other part in the chassis that I just cleaned. So that should be fairly clean because that's got to make a nice connection. That's better. Okay, the wheels are no, not too bad. I mean, I'm going to clean them, but I'll probably use this brush rather than the fiberglass pencil. Huh, interesting. Oh, no, it is. I was worried that this was free spinning, but when I spin that, they all spin. Likewise, I'm not feeling any jumping, so I think we're okay with the gears. But I still want to take them off, or take them out, and give everything inside a nice clean. I can see that that gear is bone dry. Do have one little tiny hair there. Don't like hairs. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's quite a few. So we have a clip going from here all the way around and all the way up to there. I might even be able to remove this by hand. Yes, I can. Oh, this is so easy compared to that other <coughs> Walter Stein. Oh, look, bone dry, but spotless, which is really nice. No clip at the top, so if we pull this apart, the wheels will come out and all the gears. However, I don't think I want to remove the gears on this occasion. I think they're quite happy in their little homes there. Get the wheels out. I think we can close that up for now. I'm not seeing any corrosion in those little holes there, which is where the wheels have to pick up their power from each side of the rails. So I will give them a quick clean. The Q-tip, some alcohol, before I put it back together. But I don't think I need to take the gears out. They are so dry. It's almost like they've never had lube in them. Do you see that? Do you see how dry that is? But they are silky smooth. Excellent. So I'll be putting a bit of silicon gel grease on this the teeth and just a drip of oil. Again, synthetic. Did I say silicon? I meant synthetic. A bit of synthetic oil, just a dribble on each shaft. Right, let me clean the wheels. Get with the lubing, the other truck will be exactly the same, so I'll do it all at once. And it'll be done before you know it. Let's get a big white mat to pick up all the garbage.
Right, that's all my wheels all clean and lubricated and the gears all clean and lubricated. Let's put it back together again. Right, just in case you're new to the, the whole Atherton Blue Box thing. These trucks can go that way or they can actually go that way. And there's a difference. If you install them the wrong way, your loco is going to run in reverse instead of forward when it's supposed to. The way to tell is with your chassis front, which is that, facing to your left, or your right, anyway, to my left, have these bars here curling round and facing you, okay? Curling round facing you. So this, this side here of the trucks picks up power from that side of the rail, and the left side as as opposed to the left side if you're looking forward picks up power from the left rails okay so it has to go that way if you want it to go in the right direction when you flick the on switch this is dc power obviously i'm talking about right let's go on with it so remember locating hole goes in the locating pin like so we'll do one at a time worm gear i put a bit of grease in in there and also just a dribble of oil remember this is the old one with the two piece clips it's a little thrust washer in there don't lose that normally it sits on that shaft but i found it hiding in there so get your drive shaft in there under there into its location hole and clip it over the truck one side done told you it was easy other side up you pop, locate into your hole, grab your worm gear. I've not lubed this one yet. Yes, I know I've put a lot of lube everywhere else, but hey, no harm. Because they were bone dry. And just a dribble of oil down there. There's a wee thrust washer just hanging about there, you see that? Dribble there, dribble on that side. That was actually more than a dribble. Let's suck up the excess. I don't want my track getting covered in oil and grease. Right, so they're all on. I need to locate the other side of my clip. This time the thrust washer's already on the shaft. Slide that in there. Dry shaft. Get you in there. Poke you through there. Meanwhile, the back side of my clip's fallen off. <laughs> ah, it's still with the thrust washer. Don't lose that wee thing. They just constantly try and escape. And they're there. Clip you onto your truck. Now he's misbehaving. You were doing so well. Let me take you off again. Do it properly. I was rushing it. I was trying to impress you. I'm not impressing anyone. Right, let's take our time. Get a little bearing thing back in. Get our little clip back on. Slow motion. Don't lose the back of the clip. Clip you down. Bob's your auntie. We're done. Well, we're done with that bit. Still got a few more things to do. I think I've finished loving everything though. You shouldn't have to, wrong cap, you shouldn't have to put any lube on the plastic, you know what I mean? I think we are just about done, all I need to do then is grab that bar, reattach the front bar, which is actually your left hand pickup for the headlight, connection seems to be okay for that, so that will get screwed on there. This doesn't seem right, actually. This seems to be a bit of an afterthought. Uh, maybe not. Right, let's get that screwed in. Suspiciously short screw.
is a much better idea because if you ever want to upgrade this instead of having to solder a wire to this for the ground you can just use that little screw with a little a little you know a wee round connector thing it's a much better idea right bulb i don't even know if it's working but we'll give it a shot bulb in there and all that's left is this clip which is a bit rusty so let me give that a quick clean That'll do. It's fine. Right. That's crazy. We're almost done. So this had a weird bendy thing going down that way, didn't it? Up to there, pushing the headlight in. Clips around there. That's not doing anything down there. Am I missing a part? I don't think so. Because that bulb is doing nothing. That clip would need to get bent that way a fair bit. Because it has to push the bulb forward. Put you under there. That's better. Now it's actually pushing against the bulb. You see that? You see that? That goes hooked under that side. Clip it down both sides. Make sure nothing's fouling. And that's still touching the bulb. That's making contact with that. That's making contact with that. We're good. Right. Shell. Let's get these nasty gloves off. Because I know my shell looks a bit dirty, but I think it's just been weathered. So I don't want oil in it because it might smudge it. Smudge all that weathering goodness. That clip looks a bit funny. Oh yeah, that clip for the... The coupler was almost off. I'm not keen on those little clips on that design. They get loose and fall off over time. What's the front one like? It's fine. Right, shell. Are we good? Are we good? We got everything. Everything good. Clip you in. Clip you in. Wow, we're done. Oh, so easy. Right, to the track. I am expecting nothing less than perfection. <laughs> However, it is a very old Athern blue box, so I'm also expecting quite a lot of noise. Either way, let's find out. Bit of a dash off the, off the line there. I don't need running, obviously. Let's give it a wee bit more speed. It certainly seems smooth enough. The usual Athern blue box noise. Not a lot we can do about that with the old, the old engines. Seems to be making it round the track okay. I wonder how fast it will go. Probably shouldn't do this with, you know, freshly lubed up dry gears. <laughs> Let's find out. That's a bit too fast. And obviously very noisy when it's going that fast. Overall, I'm quite pleased with that. A little, or a huge workhorse to add to the fleet. Job done. I just wish all the manufacturers made their locos that easy to work on. If anything, they're getting even more complicated. Anyway, that's done. Yay! I probably get more trains because I'm recording this last week and I've been to a train show since you've seen this video, so I'll probably get more old broken locos to tune up and fix. Anyway, I'm going to hook that up to some well-deserved freight and we'll do its victory lap at the end. Thanks for watching. See you soon.